In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to solve quadratic equations that contain imaginary solutions. So what you need to remember is that the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So let's keep that in mind. Let's start with the first equation on the left. In order to solve it, we need to get x by itself. So let's begin by subtracting both sides by 16. So we're going to get x squared is equal to negative 16. At this point, we could take the square root of both sides. The square root of x squared is just x, but we're going to get plus or minus square root negative 16. Now the square root of negative 16, we could write it as the square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1. The square root of 16 is 4, and the square root of negative 1 is i. So the answer is plus or minus 4i. So what that means is that we have two imaginary solutions. The first solution is positive 4i, and the second solution is negative 4i. Now, let's move on to the next one. In this example, we're going to start off with the same procedure. We're going to subtract both sides by 49. So we're going to have 4x squared is equal to negative 49. Now, before we take the square root of both sides, let's divide both sides by 4. So right now we have x squared is equal to negative 49 over 4. Now let's take the square root of both sides. So we're going to have x on the left and then plus or minus. Now we can rewrite this square root as the square root of 49 divided by the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. I just broke it up into three parts. Now the square root of 49 is 7 the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of negative 1 is i. So our two answers are positive 7 over 2i and negative 7 over 2i. But you could just leave your answer like this. x is equal to plus or minus 7 over 2i. Now for this example, instead of a binomial, we have a quadratic equation that's a trinomial. Go ahead and find a solution to this one. Now we can't factor this trinomial. If you were to try to find two numbers that multiply to 7 but add to 3, it's not going to work. I mean you have 1 and 7, at least you're not going to get any integers that will give you a solution here. So we can't factor this trinomial. What we can do is we could use the quadratic equation which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. a, now this quadratic equation is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So that means a is 1, b is 3, c is 7. So using this formula, it's going to be negative 3 plus or minus square root b squared, which is 3 squared, minus 4ac, or 4 times 1 times 7, divided by 2a, or 2 times 1. So right now we need to simplify this expression. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. 4 times 7 is 28. 9 minus 28 is negative 19. Now at this point, we could break up the fraction into two smaller fractions. So the first part is going to be 3 over 2, or rather negative 3 over 2. And then plus or minus, the second part will be square root negative 19 over 2. Now, the square root of negative 19, that's the square root of 19 times the square root of negative 1, which is root 19 times i. So we can write that as plus or minus the square root of 19 over 2 times the imaginary number i. So we could leave our answer in this format. So notice that this is in a plus or minus bi format. 
So that's the answer for this problem. Now let's try a similar example. If you want to pause the video, feel free to work on this problem. So once again, we have a quadratic equation in the form of a trinomial. So a is 3, b is 5, c is 10. So let's use the quadratic formula to get the solution. By the way, if you want to see if you can factor this trinomial, what we need to do is multiply the leading coefficient by the constant term, which will be 3 times 10, which is 30. And then we need to find two numbers that multiply to 30 but add to 5. So this would be 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, 5 and 6. None of these pairs will add or subtract to 5. So we can't factor it. We have to use the quadratic formula. But that's how you could determine if you can factor it for future problems. So in this example, b is 5. So we have negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus 4ac. a is 3, c is 10, divided by 2a, or 2 times 3. 5 times 5 is 25. 4 times 3 is 12 times 10, that's 120. And 2 times 3 is 6. Now, 25 minus 120, that's going to be negative 95. The square root of negative 95. 95 is 5 times 19, and we can't take the square root of either. So it's best to leave it as 95 times the square root of negative 1, which is the square root of 95 times i. So the answer is going to be negative 5 over 6 plus or minus the square root of 95 over 6 times i. We just got to break it up into two fractions so that we can write our final answer in a plus or minus bi format. So that's the standard format when dealing with complex numbers or imaginary numbers. So that's basically it. And that's how you can solve a quadratic equation that contains imaginary solutions. So all you got to do is remember that the square root of negative 1 is i. So if you have a negative sign within an even, within a square root with an even index number, like 2, 4, 6, you're dealing with imaginary numbers. But most of the times you won't see like 4 or 6. This is typically a 2.